Gotta make our way towards tool now. This uh, segment doesn't have any major step manipulation performed, so it's somewhat friendly on that regard. Remember that on this portion, on water, the danger rate doesn't advance, so you are free to misstep on the ship. Uh, over here, you want to hug the corner of this triangle and keep going left, and that will give you a straight path into the village to reach the tool efficiently. So we have a couple goals for this area. We need our first set of magic spells, and we also need the key to the Torna Cannon, so we're gonna go take care of the former first. Alright. First we need the fire spell, and we use this primarily to kill merging, but it also helps for random damage uh, here and there on early game. We need Bolt to kill Carlobos, and we also need the Cure spell to heal before a couple bosses, but we don't do that too often. We mostly rely on uh, uh, cutscenes to heal us instead. Now, everything else I am going to show you here is totally optional. You don't need anything. But it's going to aid you during the speed run because there is some great safety items that could come in handy. So over here there is a potion. I normally grab that if I had to use an extra one on the black goblins. Also a tent for extra money that sells for 125 gil if I recall correctly. I don't remember my numbers too well unfortunately. Uh, now for the beginner's house. Like I said, everything is optional, but the resources here are fantastic, especially the things on the containers on the first floor. So here we have more money, uh, Phoenix Down, also more healing, and more money, and more money. So that will spare you from any mishaps with shopping lists and whatnot. On the second floor you can find a chest with a monster in a box, so this has a leather shoes, some leather shoes I think. But... Um, it has a single goblin, so that can help you learn the goblin punch blue magic, but we already did that on the wind shrine. Also, uh, that goblin doesn't give that much experience, so you would need an extra encounter to level up uh, Lena and Galuf to level 2. And uh, also, because there is a single goblin, he will hold your own hostage until he decides to use goblin punches, so having two goblins to deal with instead increases your chances of learning the blue magic. Anyway, I'm gonna undo all that because, like I said, normally we don't grab those things. And uh, But what I do like getting is this Phoenix down behind the Saki's house. Uh, it's extra safety for Siren because uh, she can just decide to murder you if she spams uh, black magic spells. But yeah, we just gotta deal with the cutscene here and um, we can be on our way. Alright. Let's make our way back. Not much to say here, it's uh, just cutscenes. <laughs> this is the course of the early game on Final Fantasy V, it's chock full of scenes. Uh, unskippable ones at that. Oh well. Uh, now we gotta head into Torna Canal. Uh, sometimes I misstep and hog the jaws of these uh, peninsulas because I am bad at the game, but be careful. <laughs> uh, now, over here on Torna Canal, uh, the two tiles in front of the gate don't advance the danger rate, so you want to approach the gate from the left and then go to the right of it. And here is where we initiate the cutscene. Uh, this is going to help us see another step for the next segment. So after that point we keep going up, and after this stone is left you go one tile up and then keep going right. So you can hold the corner there and get a randos here. This is exactly where you want the random encounter to happen, so it means we are on the under step route. And then we're going to get an extra one after the patch of grass over here. And that's that for our step manipulation. Now as for the carlo setup, uh, you want to stop on this tile, after this the cutscene starts. So, uh, everybody will turn into black pages to contribute on the battle, everyone has to pitch in. Uh, now, do notice that Faris doesn't have uh, max health, she was off party during the, the sock cutscene, so she didn't get that free restoration, so it means that she's going to need some help uh, patching up her HP, she's lagging behind. And uh, now your cursor should be on Galuf, that's where we end the, the Wind Shrine uh, Black Goblin setup, so... Galuf to Black Mage. We want Lena to Black Mage as well, with Optimize for the leather armor for some defense. Same for Bards. And here, uh, we're going to put Bards and Faris on back row for the defense. 
and they were going to shuffle Faris to f the lead spot of the party. I do this because uh, she... Uh, oftentimes I use potions on her and uh, combinations with mixes, so it's nice to have her up front so that you don't need extra inputs to be selecting, to be casting those things. And afterwards uh, we use a potion of ours to heal her up, because remember that she doesn't have the, the free heal on tool. So she still has the same HP she had after the wind shrine. Now as for Carlabos, this battle is free, uh, you only need 6 bolts to kill the guy, and everybody is equipped to tank a couple attacks. Now, the only way this guy can waste time is if he chooses to use um, a tentacle on his spare uh, rounds of combat and paralyze different characters, so that will force you to wait another round of combat and nothing you can do about it, but... Like I said, the battle is totally safe. Now, there are two ways you can select your spells here. You can either uh, select it as quickly as possible, or you can wait for another character is queued up bolt to go off and then cast yours. It really doesn't matter which how, how you do it, which way. As long as you do it quickly, then both are somewhat similar time-wise. But here we go, Lucky. So now we got to kill Carlabos on the sixth bolt cast here. So, not a difficult boss. Uh, you particularly need Faris's AP. Everybody else is, doesn't matter. Uh, Lena doesn't need the Black Command, she will learn uh, Dimension Magic instead to supplement her throw power. Uh, Galuf and Bars get more chances to learn Black after this, but Faris is the critical one, because this is the 5 AP she needs to learn Black, and then she finishes it on Liqu Liquid Flame. So, uh, you're gonna make sure that Faris survives, the others don't matter. Presuming things go dicey, but like I said. Carlavos is unable to kill anybody on two attacks, so nothing. All right, should ruin the setup. Now over here on the shipyard, you want to be at the 222 total steps, and you will know that you did the step row properly. <laughs> 